Good morning, everyone. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for the worthy celebration of the Holy Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord cried out for me to hear, Come, you scourges of the city. With that I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate which faces the north. With each a destroying sword in his hand. In their midst there was a man dressed in linen with a writer's case at his waist. They entered and stood beside the bronze altar. Then he called to the man dressed in linen with the writer's case at his waist, saying to him, pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and then mark a towel on the foreheads of those who moan and groan. Over all the nominations that are practiced within. To the others I heard the Lord say, pass through the city after him and strike. Do not look on them with pity, nor show any mercy. Old men, youths, maidens, women, and children, wipe them out. Do not touch any marked with the towel. Begin at their sanctuary. So they began with the men and the elders who were in front of the temple. Defile the temple, he said to them, and fill the courts with the slain. Then go out and strike the city. Then the glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple and raised above the cherubim. These lifted their wings, and I saw them rise from the earth, wheels rising along with them. They stood at the entrance of the eastern gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of God of Israel was up above them. Then the cherubim lifted their wings, and the wheels went along with them, while up above them was the glory of God of Israel. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed is the name of the Lord both now and forever. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. 
From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. God was recounseling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. you Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have one over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. We know the spirit of church is the Holy Spirit, but we also know the body of the church, its members, are all not saints. That is the reason we have a lot of scandals and we ask, is he or she is a Catholic? Because we expect a particular behavior from a Catholic. Many a time, these scandals happen just under our roof. That's why Jesus wants us to, wants to introduce us to a process of fraternal correction. Even while we correct each other, we cannot hurt each other. And that's what Jesus says, if your brother sins, and if you see he needs to change and convert, talk to him in person and in secret. And if not, convince him with some witnesses. That's it, the third time, it is the final stage, Jesus says, if he is not listening, you or the people you think he will respect, take to the community of the church so that you will do your duty of correction out of charity, not out of not because 
you are hurt by the scandal but because of your genuine love for the soul of your brother while celebrating this holy eucharist let us seek the lord the grace of genuine love that every action of ours is motivated by the love of the salvation of the soul of our brothers and sisters god bless us all as body of Christ we offer our praise to the father for the church through the outpouring of the holy spirit may she continue to faithfully build god's kingdom on earth let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for elected officials may god increase in them the desire to protect life from conception to natural death Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For those who are sick, may they experience the healing power of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For this community of faith, may the grace of our baptism continue to help us witness to the truth of the gospel in both word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the cross of Christ may they be brought to new life with him especially Stephen Bednar who will remember at this mass let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer heavenly father through the waters of baptism you have adopted us as your children we ask that you hear and answer our prayers through your son Jesus Christ Pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father Be pleased O Lord to accept the offerings of your church for in your mercy you have given them to be offered by your power you transfer them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you with lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord Holy Father almighty eternal God for just as through your beloved son you created human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all this all your saints with one heart 
bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread toward the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Archbishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word to my soul. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually in my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, our Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, and us in the battle.